Hey guys, Sakai is here again with a very simple video today. Targeting. So how do you target an enemy? You all click over them, like this. Thanks for watching guys, Sakai is out. Is what I would be saying if this were that simple. But no. The act of targeting an enemy is a simple task. The problem lies in who your target should actually be. Once again, for the purposes of this video, we will go over the different roles and try to ascertain what each should be doing in various moments of the game. But first, a definition. What is targeting in League of Legends? No, it is not the act of hitting skill shots. In fact, it's the art of focusing down an element of the enemy team to the benefit of your own. Perhaps your goal should be to take down a damage dealer or to divert the attention of a tank so that someone else on your team can kill the damage dealer without being bullied. If you are focusing whoever is closest to you or anyone at random, I can guarantee you that you are depriving yourself and your team of fighting potential and it can most likely cause you the game. So moving on to the roles and their functions. What I mean by roles in this case is not ADC, mid or top, but rather marksman, mage and tank. I cannot tell you what the mid laner should be focusing on because of the wide varieties of champions that can be taken into the mid lane. Heck, look at Faker, he's been making heads turn so often recently because of his weird picks mid lane. So I'll be going at this alphabetically. Starting with Assassins. Champions like Zed, Talon or Kha'Zix have a lot of AD burst potential, but that will most likely only really scratch the surface of a tank if they go in on them. So what they need to be doing is deleting the enemy ADC or top or mid, depending on whoever is dealing most damage. They will almost definitely be able to take the top damage dealer down without dying simply because their kit allows them to go in, deal lots of damage and go out quickly to live another day. They're wasting their damage on other elements of the enemy team. They need to be hitting high priority targets. Up next, we have the fighters or bruisers. Champions like Darius, Wukong or Garen. Their goal in the top lane is to gain enough experience to allow them to outlevel anyone in the mid game. That being said, they'll be able to go for the damage dealers whilst taking some damage and hopefully not caring about it. Their goal is to be the center of a team fight along with the tanks. They'll target the damage dealers and anyone that poses a threat and tries to go past them. Mages. Mages need to delete squishies, be it the AD carry, the support or the assassins. What they need to be aiming for is one-shotting enemies in teamfights with their abilities. If they can prioritize high priority targets, then perfect, but they shouldn't ignore in any support if she's in the way of getting to the AD carry. Delete her first and move on to the next target. Just don't waste your ultimates on tanks. There will be other people to take care of those later on. Fighters emphasizing on damage trying to burst their way in through oh to God. the back line could also be potential targets for the mage. Marksman, what a lot of people consider to be the hardest role in all of League. Allow me to politely disagree. Marksman seems hard because a lot of people don't know how to play it. It's a game of positioning and targeting while getting some peel from your allies, which again is something rarely seen in solo queue. The marksmen have one goal when it comes to targeting enemies. They will hit and focus down whoever is closest while trying to maintain their high range advantage by kiting. Tanks, fighters, assassins, mages, you name it. Whoever is closest will get hit. Simple, right? As for the supports, they will have a different kind of target depending on what sort of support. And here we can take a look at our lovely support triangle. Sustained supports will focus on keeping their own high priority targets alive with heals, shields, buffs and peeling. Poke supports will remain in the backline and poke whoever they can without killing themselves by mispositioning. Kill supports need to target squishies and high priority targets by engaging and providing their team with hand fed kills. And finally, the tank's job is to try and bother the high priority target with CC while assassins or mages finish them off. They need to be aware that they'll be targeted a lot because of their positioning. And therefore, knowing when to back off is also a super important mindset to have. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this little video and if you did, why not click on that lovely like button? It helps me out a ton. Also, I'm streaming right after this upload, so come say hi. The link to the Twitch will be in the description. Again, thanks for watching. Sakeos out.